you, friends. It's been a minute since I've been on and crafted. Got a lot going on, but this morning I need some crafting time. So y'all remember, a lot of us got these little sets from the Dollar Tree. Um, here's one that's the Nativity. And so they came with several pieces, but I haven't seen anybody paint them. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna paint one. And I'm gonna use two of the sets of trees. And then I'm gonna make it interchangeable. I also got a pack of these at the Dollar Tree and the snowman came with it. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it a Christmassy scene for him. But then when Christmas is over, I'll take him out and put my snowman in there. So, and I started um, painting these trees with a marker and then I decided it was going to take up too much of my marker ink. So then I decided I would paint them. Um, I did put a white base coat on this. You know there's going to be caulk involved right here. So I just basically wanted to take the, knock down the, um, the look of the wood. So I'm going to paint both sides of this because this is where the snow will also be. And just in case, you know, I don't cover it up, I'm going to go ahead and paint it. And these are my favorite paint brushes of all time, these angled brushes. I just love these. I love these when I painted on fabric. And I still love them. So, let me give you a little update on my mom. So, we've been, I found, a, okay. I found, I thought, we thought we found a place. But, turned out, um, due to her dementia, um, they couldn't guarantee how long she could stay there. And so I don't want to have to move the poor woman more than once, obviously. And so, found another place. Um, now we're just waiting on her doctor to send, he has to sign a release form for them. And, um, and so we're waiting on that. He's had it since what day is today? I'm so confused. He's had it since Monday. His nurse promised um, this place that uh, they would have it to them by 2.30 this afternoon. And I have filled out whew, so much paperwork, let me say. You cannot, if you have not ever done this before, and I had not ever done it before, have any earthly idea of all of the of the paperwork that is involved? Um, it's a lot. And then, of course, with it being not in my town, um, she the director had to email it to me, and then I had to print it off, and then I had to fill it out. And then I had to take copies of it and send it back to her. And so, and then there were some that, um, that I didn't fill out right. And some that I didn't need to fill out that she sent me just for information, but I didn't know about. So anyway, it, it, it was a whole day process and oh, I was worn out after that. And then, um, you know, I call my mom and talk to her several times a day. And she has a caregiver, you know, that comes and um, takes care of her, who is an amazing human being. And, uh, but sometimes my mom is, is really with it. And then sometimes she just isn't. And... Um, on Monday, yeah, 
On Monday, I had a phone conversation with her, and y'all, she was more... more like my mom than she has been in... I mean, it was a real conversation. And... Um, you know, I think that was a gift from God because I have really struggled with this. As y'all know, I asked for your prayers and I still ask for them because, uh, it's going to be tough, um, tomorrow. And I know that. And I also, you know, I promised her I'd keep her there as long as I could. And, and I, and I have, you know, and she... In our conversation, she she let me know that she knew that, that I had done everything that I could do, you know, and that she would be better off, you know, in a place where she had his full-time care. So, um, that was a gift, you know, that was a gift. And then, today... She, uh, you know, not so much with it, but I did, I, her, her bed at the new place will be a twin size bed and she's always slipping a full size bed. And, um, so she, her, um, electric blanket is for a full and not a twin. So I was, you know, I've been trying to, from here, get some, get everything, you know, that I need to go purchase that she's going to need, and, and, um, and so I called her, and I said, let's go shopping, and she said, what? Because <laughs> she hasn't been anywhere except for the doctor, uh, well, probably since the beginning of COVID, and, um, I said, yeah, I'll take you in here with me, and she was like, oh, <laughs> kind of threw her off a little bit, but that's okay, you know, and, um, and so I was telling her, you know, I, I was walking up and down every aisle. I couldn't find the electric blankets. Um, of course, and they're not on the blanket aisle, you know, or on the mattress pad aisle or on any sheet or blanket aisle. They're in a special place, which I should have thought about that. But, you know, I still thought they might be in conjunction with bedding, but they weren't at all. They were like at the front of the store in with the, um, well, on the aisle next to the decorative for the season towels and stuff like that and dishware. Um, so anyway, we went and did a little shopping. I found her a blanket. Of course, she was arguing the whole time, you know. I have a perfectly good blanket. I said, I know, but it, it won't fit the bed, and I don't want it to hang down so far that you could get tangled up in it, you know. And besides, it's it's probably time to replace it just because, you know, it's an electrical thing, and she's she's had it for a while. So, you know, it would just make me feel better, too. It has an automatic shut off on it, which hers did too. But, you know, I think the size is important. So, anyway, to make a long story short, er, I took her to Walmart with me. We found her one. And, um, and then I was, she was saying, well, how are you going to do this tomorrow? And I said, you know, I said, well, I guess, you know, Ronnie and I will come and we'll load up all your stuff and take it and go over there and set your room up and then we'll come back and get you, you know. And, uh, you know, I know, I know that, I know it makes her sad, it makes me sad, you know. And I promised my daddy before he passed away that, you know, I'd do my best to take care of her. Um, but at this point, this is what's best. So no matter how hard it is, something that's got to be done. And, uh, so 
that's what's been going on in my world. And that's why I haven't, I have, I have, I've read your comments and I have, uh, given them a thumbs up and, and, you know, a heart, but I haven't replied because, uh, a lot of my time has been focused on, you know, making lists of what I think she needs to take and, and, you know, just figuring all this stuff out and filling out paperwork. And, but I will, I will, I promise to get back to commenting because I love, I love commenting on, um, on y'all's comments, you know, I love having that conversation with you. So I do apologize that I have had to, um, make that an area that I have had to um, change up a little bit, but you know what? I'm painting right over that. You know, sometimes it's just easier just to go and paint over it. And then I can come back and put a bow in there easily enough. So, I'm feeling like already that, let's see, this video, see, I've already been doing it for 11 minutes and it feels like I just started. So, I might have to make it more than one video because, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time. So, I've got, I need to make Christmas cards. I have so many things I need to do, but you know, I've been working on that half to list for, for other things. And so this time... I thought, right, today I'm working, I'm not working on something I have to do. I'm working on something that I love to do. And, uh, yeah, that's how it's going. That's how it's going. I guess I need to cut, paint the whole back of him white, too. Not that I can cover up that Greenbrier International, but it'll be... His back will be facing the trees anyway, so it'll be fine, but just to give it a little more finished look, I'm going to go ahead and give it a coat, even though it's not that thick. Okay. I could probably get this done in two 15 minute videos, actually, because I don't think, what I'll do is, we'll paint the trees right quick, and then I'll load that one, and then I'll come back and do one, whoa. Wonder how old that thing is. Blah. Okay. <laughs> you know, ugh. acrylic paint, you gotta love it, right? It lasts for a really long time. But then the things that happen to it are disgusting. Okay, I think I want a little bit of yellow. Well, let's try a little bit of this. Next in here. Oh, well, that's gold. Oh, well. You know? Whatever. Okay, I'm just going to swirl it around. And then it's going to come out where it will. And again, I'm going to have... There will be snow on these trees. I just didn't want them to be quite as bright as that is. And I think this toned it down some. Y'all can hear me. I'm not sure if I'm talking loud enough or not. I'm going to need to put some brown on that part. And you know, you could use any color you wanted to on this. You could, you could even paint them all white. And they'd be pretty. This is just... This is just how I'm doing it. That's the fun thing about these. You can make them be anything you want them to be, right? I got a, one of my 
wild curly hairs is tickling my nose. Mm. And you know what I could do is just paint the fronts of these until I come back. Yeah, yeah. Could do that. So, like I said, I'm going to use two sets. Um, I can't remember. Let's see how that covers. That'll just make it a different color, so that will be even more interesting. Because, you know, all your trees in the forest are not the same color. They definitely are not. I just love the way they cut these trees out. You know, for a dollar, the intri intricacy of these is pretty amazing. I mean, the whole set was pretty amazing. I saw these sets on one of the, on a website somewhere. I don't know which one it was. Anyway, they were, oh, there's a paint. Bleh. Um, they were, uh, come off of there. It won't. They were, uh, almost four dollars a piece. A piece. Mm. These little sets. It was the same little sets. I don't know if they were made by the same people or not, but they were the same sets. So, you know, you gotta love your Dollar Tree. The only thing is, okay, so now it is December 1st. Happy December, by the way. And the things that you can buy for Christmas are few and far between. I will say, I like to get an early start on it, and I understand that. However, I don't like not being able to find anything at all at this point. And I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday, and oh my goodness, it was like Black Friday up in there. And I worked retail, so mm -mm, don't do not do that. Don't do that Black Friday thing. Okay, I'm going to get off of here and load this one, and then I'll be back with the next one. All right, love you guys. Blessings.